this is a metric drawing so we're going to use the metric template like the one we used in the previous exercise uh, a few commands are going to be circles uh, trim fillets center lines offsets lines and uh, we gotta get this angle so we are going to use uh, the angular dimension we are going to use the polar um, the polar tracking if you wanted to get that so that's how we are going to do this exercise so let's start on with it and so the first thing I start with is the center line so go to the center line layer and start laying out uh, my object Okay, where's the center? It's right there. Going to make it go longer. Okay, you can put it right on the center, snap it right on the center. Okay, so uh, this is placed. Now, what we need to do is start putting our dimensions, dimension offsets. So the first is this circle which is at a height of 38.4 so I'm going to offset 38.4 that direction then uh, from then we need to get distance from the center to this side so the distance for that would be okay so the distance that we have from right here till here is 118.18 so first thing I can do is offset this first so I get that line which is 48.04 offset 48.04 this line will go on that side and then from there it will offset 118.18 offset 118.18 so I click on here and I go on to that side so so what I got right here is the center of this circle now let's try to draw that circle in position so the diameter is 17.60 so I'm going to draw a circle from here at a diameter of 17.60 okay now I have to jump back to my model layer so model top and I'll make it current now there's another one at a distance of 20 so I will copy this from the center to two zero that's twenty okay now I'm left with just joining these lines and trimming my circles out so I just use my trim command trim that out and trim this out now we have another circle in here and that has the diameter of let's see if it's in here somewhere if it's not there I'm going to just measure it going to take the radius of this circle as 17.6 so it's pretty much double this is the radius that's the diameter right so I will do circle enter from here and at the radius of 17.6 okay I will copy that CO select this object from the center to the center of this okay so we got that just make a couple more lines and then trim it out just like the previous one let's TR enter select my whole drawing trim it out trim it out and then erase so I got that part done now we need a few more parts now this one is a diameter of 15.20 so 
so this is my center line I have to offset this 15.20 first offset 15.2 from the center to this side so that's where the circle is so the circle is going to go at a diameter enter 15.2 okay so I got that circle now let's put this one circle in which is diameter of 32 circle enter from the center diameter enter 32 okay so I got that one as well so let's put in the big one right in the center which is 35.2 circle enter from the center diameter enter 35.2 okay so now we are mostly left with this circle right here so how do we know what's the location of that circle first thing I know is there's an angle of 40 so I will make a line going from the center and it has to go 40 degrees so we have 15 we have 30 and we have for 40 I'm just going to go right click let's see for 40 do we have 40 we don't so I can take uh, 20 if we have we don't even have 20 so let's take 10 okay so I go 20 30 and 40 okay so that's the angle that you see right here going to match attribute this to that so we don't get confused now let's start with this circle in the middle which is at a radius of 48 so circle enter from the middle and the radius is 48 enter okay so I'm going to match attributes again MA and match it with that because that's my center line TR for trimming and trim the rest of the circle that I don't need so it doesn't confuse me delete that part so I have this there already now the next thing I need is to put in these circles so this circle is at a radius of 8.8 .8 circle from this point and at a radius of 8.8 .8 then this circle at a radius of 17.6 okay now I need the same thing on to right here okay so I can copy one and two from the center of this till the center of there okay now all I need to do right now is make these circles and start trimming my lines so I do one more circle enter from the center to that end from the center to this end from the center to there and again from the center to there see how many circles I have just to do that so I'll go ahead and trim it now select the whole drawing enter trim 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 same thing over here okay I can delete these because then they will start confusing me if I don't do it right now okay so now do I need this line yes I do so I need to do more trimming trim this one that one this one that one the inside ones okay see now it's taking shape right now you see it so this is how we would do this a couple more trims remaining this one and this one okay so this is pretty much done only thing left is putting in these radiuses starting with this one which is 12.8 so I do fillet enter 
R enter 12.8 enter and I pick this one and this circle so what it did over here it created the circle in the opposite direction so I can do circle enter TTR for tangent tangent radius enter so my circles are going to be this one and this one and the radius is 12.8 okay so we got that in the right shape I can trim it out TR and I trim out there and delete this part so I got that part taken care of I'm going to do the next one over here now this radius is 35.2 so I'll do fillet enter R enter 35.2 enter and I will pick this circle and this line okay so we got that taken care of only thing I need to is extend this line all the way back here so we're done with that now we're left with the lower one and the one right here so the one right here before I do that I'll just create the lower one which is at a radius of 28.0 okay so let's draw that circle from the center 28 point 28.0 okay now we have a line going from here till there so that was easy but we need to do this curve over here so we need fillet enter R enter 12.8 enter click this one and this one so that does our job only thing that's missing is this circle so I'm going to click and bring it back in this line also I need to trim the middle one by using my trim and I click there click there make sure I click here and I erase this so right now my drawing is done only thing that's left is the dimensioning uh, I can even put in my center lines going to annotate go to the center line and I have to make sure uh, I am on my dimension layer and I keep clicking for my center lines okay. of my center lines is just they're too tiny I have to increase the scale on that but that's fine okay now let's do the dimensions uh, going with the radius I will start with that with this one then I can do some diameters okay that's the diameter actually this is a diameter this is a diameter to rate these then I can go into the radius put in these radiuses one two three four and I could go and put in my linear and the align dimensions okay we all know how to do that so I'm not going to cover that over and over so you know how to do it so go ahead and make the align dimensions okay so that's pretty much it only thing last one left is the angular dimensioning can click on this one and that one and get my 40 degree angle right there so this is pretty much looks like this other than just a little trim over here TR and that takes care of that can delete it and I'm done okay so hope you enjoyed this tutorial please like and share as usual thank you